good afternoon, I'm back, sort of, because in this video I'm not going to teach you anything, I'm going to demonstrate two things you might see in the future. So, the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is shadow mapping, three-dimensional shadows, very visually appealing I might add, and the second thing is a custom launcher which downloads files, library files, resource files, things like that, off the internet for your application. So it could be, well, for example, with Minecraft, you have an application, the launcher, and then it, if the library files haven't been downloaded, then it downloads all the library files for you. And that's what the custom launcher does. But let's start with shadow mapping. And I didn't write this source code myself. I actually didn't write the source code for custom launcher either. Uh, no, this source code was written by Sam K and Daniel W, who ported it from the OpenGL Super Bible into Java. So this source code, I can show it to you. There's a there's some something that resembles grass. I try to make it look like grass, but this is as good as it gets without any textures. And there's the Stanford bunny. So you can see you have lighting and everywhere you're not looking, well everything you can't see is shadow, basically. Alright, I think it looks really neat. You can find the working code, the working example code, in the video description. I'll have a link to it there. And bear in mind that the, this is not the final version of the source code, because when I release the video I'll um, probably find some bugs and I will uh, fix those. But this is the draft version, so keep that in mind, although it does work. And one thing to play around with is the texture resolution, the maximum texture resolution. If you have a really good graphics card, you can put this to 8192 and see what happens. Anyway, second thing, custom launcher. This source code was provided to me by Ryan Porterfield, aka Shadowhawk54. So I would like to thank him for providing this brilliant source code to me. It downloads files off the internet, as I said before. I'll just demonstrate it to you. Okay, so delete these files. <laughs> just disregard that. Okay, so we've got all the files downloaded, or all the files are being downloaded right now by the application from Ryan Porterfield's server. Oh, please don't all do this at home because if a hundred people do this, I'm sure it will kill his bandwidth. So <laughs> please refrain from downloading the files 100 times uh, like consecutively. So don't do that. Now that we have the files downloaded, well, this is really useful because you could use this for um, downloading library files for your real application using only a helper application. That's this, this custom launcher program. Yeah, so especially if you want to distribute your project and you only want to distribute one jar file and then that one jar file downloads the rest for the user off the internet. Yeah, I think it's really neat. Again, the working source code for this is in the description too. Oh, so about the next video. Um, I think the next video is going to be on shadow mapping, but I originally intended it to be released this weekend which I haven't really been able to do because I wasn't able to access my computer yesterday and the day before yesterday. So it might be next weekend, although next weekend is in the middle of an exam week, which isn't too convenient for uh, releasing a video. So maybe the weekend after the next weekend. In two weekends, I might release the shadow mapping video. Anyway, I'd love to hear your feedback on these two demonstrations, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.